So I'm out staring at the front of the dually dually pulley swap pull on and I'm trying to put together a front bumper. I've got this, this usually holds firewood and I'm thinking that might be a good bush guard. I've got some angle iron for the front bumper. I've got a LED light bar. Now the only problem with the bush guard, it's got to stick out really far so the hood will still open. But if it sticks out really far, that would leave room for a winch. I'm just in the brainstorming phase, but I'm about to give myself the green light. I'm going to cut up this big heavy duty angle first and make a metal frame that comes out. Seems like it comes out about 20 inches, goes across and goes back. Then we might put the firewood holder bush guard on, and then on top of that, mount the light. That's what I'm thinking. So, with a little help from the metal blade on my chop saw, I've got the bumper rough cut. It sticks way out, but the hood still opens. And then we're going to put the bush guard. Attach it just like this, and the hood still opens. So that is what it's looking like so far. We're about to the stage where we have to break up in the welder. I'm ready. And then after it's welded, we've got to decide between black or does it get the yellow? Same thing with the bush guard. Black or yellow? If you vote, uh, yeah, by the end of this video, it probably be too late. Just still tell me what you think. Black or yellow? Black or yellow? So I just stole a bolt from this parts craftsman, and we're using that on my pool line bumper. Let me show you. This angle iron already had a hole here, so I drilled a hole in the frame there's going to be a bolt in that hole. And then this other bolt, that's the bolt I took out of the Craftsman. There was a stock hole already in the frame. Might as well use it. So I drilled a hole in the angle. And on this one, I drilled a hole in the frame. On the other side, I just did the exact same thing. Well, on the other side, I'm in the process of doing the exact same thing. Okay, this is the other side. There was a hole already in the angle iron. And I drilled a hole through the frame. Then up here there's a existing threaded hole and I'm going to drill a hole now through this angle iron. That's where we're at. You gotta love a good strong C-clamp. Okay, this is the hole I just drilled. This is the existing hole. I got another bolt from the Craftsman. It goes in this hole. Something like this. And then the back hole, I've got to get some bolts for it. That's about what it's going to look like. Level it. And with both pieces of angle sticking out in place, I've got the level sitting on it, and it is sitting level. So what I want to do now, before I get the grade 8 bolts to put in there, run over to the welder with it, tack this thing together. That's next. This is the pre-weld look at the front bumper. And to me it makes the front tires look really, really small. And I guess they are with a lift kit. So i got to start hunting some uh, bigger front tires. But as far as the bumper goes, I think I like it. I gotta get to welding. I'm welding the front bumper together, but I got the LED blocking the light. I don't want to damage your eyes. Here we go. That's that. What I might do now is take the bumper off. That way I can weld the bottom better. And here is weld number one. I might go back and fill in that hole, you know, just for the fun of it. So I was out here welding the front bumper together, and I noticed the moon came up. We got to zoom in on that moon. There it is. So 
So now the bumper is all welded together. I'm going to take that grinding wheel, that sanding polishing wheel when I find my grinder, and I'm going to polish it up and then we're going to paint it. If I ever find my grinder, it might be time to buy a new grinder. And then once that's done, something about like that. Okay, I've got the bumper all in position and I love it. I love it a lot. But when you put the hood down, it leaves a really, really big space. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I think I can deal with it. That angle's pretty good. But from straight above, maybe if we put a floor pan in there, keep a toolbox, put a winch, maybe a winch and a toolbox. So I am just back from the store and I picked up a new grinder. $39. They go up to $150, $100. You name it, you can pay for it. Also got some grade eight bolts. There's the nuts. There's the bolts. Lock washers and flat washers. I also got some big butt square washers. These go with the sturdy strut, but I'm gonna use them maybe for tabs for that LED light. Just thinking out loud. And I guess this might be a double unboxing video because I got that LED light bar. And now we've got a grinder. It even came with a disc. I'm going to put that sanding wheel on and we'll take off some of this old paint. Then we can paint the bumper. So I just ran the sanding disc over it and I ran over some paint there to get the fingerprints off. And now I'm gonna hit the bottom of it with some of this flat black. Dollar a can flat black. So tonight the bumper frame is welded up it's painted up, it's ready to go, and the bush guard has two tabs welded on for the light. Tomorrow we'll weld the bush guard on, paint it black, and then put this baby on the mower and call it done. So I just came from the store and I got a switch for the LED light bar, and I got two switch covers. One of these is for the dually dually, and one for the doom buggy. So here is the all new Bush Guard bumper combo all welded together. And maybe a little bit of overkill on the welding. But I find it fun and I'm trying to learn how to do it better so why not overkill. Same thing on the back. And I guess you might call that Gorilla welded. Uh, gorilla, you know, ugly and strong. Paul Jones taught me that little term. Anyway, right there, kind of a Gorilla weld. I want to paint this angle down here, the shiny one, I want to paint it black, and I'm almost thinking about leaving the bush guard rusty. Okay, for the front bumper I've got grade 8 bolts, i got the bolts, nuts, washers, lock washers, and these big tabs, they, they're supposed to go with the sturdy strut, what I make the lift kit out of, but I'm going to use them on the back for big washers, that's what I'm thinking. Look, it wants to be back there. And I've also got the two Craftsman stock bolts. A little bit warm still. Let's don't burn ourselves.
It has bolt the LED light bar on time. It has two bolts that go down through the holes. Then a lock washer and a nut on each side. And so with the hood open, the light bar clears the hood. And down below, I got a boat trailer winch. If we can find a little electric winch about that same size, hood clears it too. I guess for now, I could bolt on the boat trailer winch. I would have to extend the crank out here, but that could pull you out of a hole. And it's getting a little bit late. Instead of wiring up the light to the switch, I might just throw a battery on there. I'm ready to go do a test drive, see what that light does in the dark. And with one bungee and three pair of vice grips, the auxiliary battery is on. Probably won't be popping any wheelies tonight. There is the LED lit up. Let's go for a test drive. Here's a little comparison for you. That's the $18 12-inch LED bar. And this is the 05 Honda Civic Daily Driver of mine. That's brights. That's dims. I think the LED might be a good addition to the Civic. So this is dog in the headlights. Bright lights. Dim lights. Not a lot of light. Let me get the uh, LED bar on. We'll see how much better it looks. And that would be the LED bar. How about both at one time? It is unboxing time. I've got this box. This is from Nylite. They sent me a uh, message that I want to maybe do a video for them. Well, I never got a reply back, but I checked out their uh, YouTube page. And they had a video where they were beating up some lights. And I really was impressed. And here is... This is a 12 inch, it's flood, spot, flood, and I've got this for the dually dually, for the double dually, for the pulley swap double dually pull on, and I gotta do this with one hand, so. I thought it was the same size as the one on the doom buggy, but I guess the doom buggy is a 15 inch, this is a 12 inch. Got some bracket, some more bracket. And a little piece of paper. Product warranty. It almost feels like it's time to do some night trail rides. It's just the way it's feeling right now. 